The wonderful creatures known as Boglins arrived on our shores during the late 1980s, piggybacking on the craze of ghouls, critters and gremlins, each having their own respective film, which were widely popular at the time. Consisting of a range of small, goblin-y, monstery type hand puppets, they were the brainchild of Tim Clark and Maureen Trotto, and were originally licensed by Seven Towns and sold by Mattel. Boglins shipped in a cage-style cardboard box, which further added to their mischievous and unsavoury appeal, especially when you're eight years old. With a TV advert telling us that, If you take us home, we'll kiss your Aunt Martha, we'll eat your peas, and we hope you know lots of girls. Although outside of the advert, it's easy to take the last part out of context, when really, it was just your typical level of 80s sexism. Boglins came in a variety of sizes, with the large and expensive ones fitting over your entire hand, followed by smaller, more restricted Boglins, Baby Boglins, and then Mini Boglins. In 1989, Boglins appeared on Kellogg's cereal boxes as a promotion, which helped to triumph their appeal. Personally, I absolutely loved my Boglin, it felt like more than a toy, it felt like a life extension, if you will, and like most of my childhood toys, it was a much more important thing than just a materialistic piece of rubber. Let's take a look through my collection of small boglins, although please note that if you're American, the British versions do have different names. Boglins! Those lovely rubbery things from the 80s and 90s. I've got quite a few. Here's one, one of the glow up ones, here's another, here is another, and another, and another, more, and another. In fact, this is the entire set of uh, small boglins. There were the large ones, which had the eyes which you could move and you could fit your entire hand inside, just like that, that's how you did it. And these ones, and this is the one I had. Clang! Glows in the dark rather nicely. Put your hand in the back, like so. Put your fingers in these sockets. Put your other fingers over the mouth hole, like that. And you can do stuff like that and make it look like some sort of 70s comedian. Hello! Hello! Yeah, so they came in this little box. And on the back, you can see the big ones here, and these are the smaller ones. So, Bogliogist notes, field notes. I have discovered these weird swamp creatures so that Bogliogists can learn their wonderful secrets. Put one on and watch the fun begin. Okay, let's do that. I'm not seeing much fun beginning. Maybe I've missed something. Let's go back. Uh, that's all other languages. We've got the large Bogland, Plunk, Dwarf, Flurp, and what's on the side? We have little. Na oh, the name tag has been taken off this one. You bastard. Let's read it in a different language. So, Narun, popcorn. That's its food. Get what's not nine. I don't know what. These words are rum. Maybe he likes rum. Character grind snaft. Friend, I think he's friendly. I think his characteristics personality is friendly. Maybe that's why I chose him. He looks quite friendly, doesn't he? And on the bottom we've got some operating instructions. Stuff your hand in, wiggle the eyes, move the gob. And um, yeah, there we go. So, like I said, this is the glow in the dark clang. This one is, uh, who is he? Splat. Although the glow in the dark ones had a different name sometimes, I believe. Although you can know Clang is still called Clang Splat. This one is. Let's have a look. He's got pointy ears. He hasn't got a tongue that sticks out. Squit, maybe. Oh, it's hard to tell. This is Splat again in his non glow in the dark form. This is Boink. Boink. Yep. Or maybe Blap. 
god, I don't know. Here's a non glow in the dark clang. This one is doink, I believe. My god, it's hard to tell. Doink, doink, doink. Looks like something out of a spitting image. And this one is. I've gone terribly wrong here, haven't I? This one's splat. This one's clearly splat. These two are splat. Oh, they're boglins. They're just a bunch of boglins. And you could do funny things like this and have conversations. Hello, you're clang, yes, I'm clang, you're clang. Ooh, 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 ooh. Also, I used to quite enjoy doing this. Looks like a frog of some description. Help me, I'm trapped inside myself. So, there we go. Small boglins of many shapes and colours and descriptions and all rubberiness. Actually, the, the rubber is quite nice. It's, it feels, it, it's not sticky, it feels luxurious. Can you get luxurious rubber? Uh, that sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? If you're watching in America, I think rubber is also the commonly used word for condom. That's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to the rubber used on the boglins. In the UK, we call erasers rubbers. So there's definite scope for stationary related miscommunication between Americans and English. All I can say is never lend an American your eraser. Anyway, this feels like an unnecessary conversation. I feel like I've gone off on a bit of a tangent and I should get back to the boglins. So, without further ado, let's move on to my mini boglins. And here they are. Here we have Hamburger Face Malone. We have Ghoulish McIron Ballface. We have Cun Tucking Cun. Ah, how appropriate. Tongue Cutting Steve. Look at that, he's trying to hack his own tongue off. That is gruesome as it should be. We have Diner Dave, knife and fork, presumably about to eat someone's bread, maybe his tongue, after he's cut it off. We have um, Life Ring Jim. We have, oh, what's he doing with his fingers? That looks a bit sexual, oh no. I think he's just, I don't, we'll, we'll put him to the side. We have this charming, Fellow, mmm, symbol Timble. As you might tell, I'm like, making these names up. I thought he was putting his finger up then. No, he's just smashed his finger up with a hammer. He's not flipping the bird, thankfully. We've got this chap who looks a bit, well, he looks dusty. He's also got a bomb and he looks a bit skeletonified, maybe a radioactive skeleton. I think I might have tried to paint him. That's it. I tried to paint this one for some obscure reason into black paint. And there we go. There we have the outcome. A shambles. We've got this chap who's eating his own tail. This Frank Bruno looking type character. This guy with an ice cream on his face, rather tame. This silver chap with a sling and this guy with a sawn off sword. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing or click one of the alternative videos displayed on your screen now. As always, thank you for watching.